Hey guys, welcome back to All and On Law. Today we're gonna talk about this is a quick pathology, and today we're gonna talk about amyloidosis of kidney. Amyloidosis of kidney. Amyloidosis. of kidney okay so amyloidosis of the kidney is remember if it affects the kidney then it's gonna be what you call it gonna affect the kidney function so the patient will have severe sign and symptoms and the condition will be very critical okay guys so here in this quick pathology we're gonna discuss about what you call the um, the microscopic feature and the microscopic feature okay guys right so let's talk about this what you call um, on um, microscopic feature how does it look and on microscopic feature how does it look if you look at what you call grossly the um, what you call the kidneys can appear what you call they they can appear a normal shape okay or sometimes slightly enlarged right they can be slightly enlarged or terminally contracted due to ischemic effect of narrowing vesicular lamina i will tell you how the lumina will get narrowed because of this amyloidosis okay guys if you take the cut surface of this kidney then you see pale, waxy, translucent. Okay, guys. Right. On a microscopically, microscopically, the unoamyloid is seen as amorphous eosinophilic halon extracellular material. And in kidney, it's deposited in the glomeruli. It's deposited in the glomeruli. Initially, it gets deposited in the glomerular basement membrane, but later extends into, into the lumina, causing luminal narrowing. Okay? Right? Let me draw over here. Okay, so if you look at the what you call this is peritubular deposits over here. Here it's just deposit peri peritubular deposits. Okay, the amyloid class they cause a pink color. That's why they accumulated like this, and they cause narrowing of the lumina. Okay, and they accumulate like this. Actually, it should be pink in color, but I'm making it blue. Sorry for that. Okay, right, guys. And the glomerular deposits, if you take out the glomeruli, it looks like as if, what you call, the cells over here. Okay. The glomerular deposits. Glomerular deposits, right? And they deposit in the vessels also. If this is the blood vessels, it gets accumulated and gets narrowed and okay causes narrowing of the blood vessels the the amyloid deposits in the tubules begins to uh, what you call a begin close to the tubular epithelial basement membrane right then what happens these deposits may produce degenerative changes in the tubular epithelial cells tubular epithelial cells okay guys tubular epithelial cells and amyloid cause in the tubular lamina as we saw in our images right the lumina of the small arteries and the arterioles 
as we know that amyloid affects the arterioles okay and the small arteries uh, okay the lumina of the small arteries and the arterioles in the interstitium of the kidney are narrow due to amyloid deposits right in the wall they get deposited they make big make if this is a lumen it becomes like this because of the accumulation okay because of this right guys so this is about the what you call uh, gross uh, what you call uh, microscopic and the microscopic feature of amyloidosis of kidney okay guys thank you so much for watching this video take care